What's up and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Priya J. I love the way that you move, Gucci and Louis and True. Fendi, Percy, baby blue eye. Put you in some Jimmy too. Stay down and be my rider. Put you in new designer. You hold the Ferragamo, Burberry and Armani. I love the way that you move, Gucci and Louis and True. Fendi, Percy, baby blue eye. Put you in some Jimmy too. Stay down and be my rider. Put you in new designer. If you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can join the family. If you guys are returning, thank you for returning each and every time. You know your girl really do appreciate it. All right, so by the time of this video, I'm pretty sure you guys can see I am going to be giving you guys three types of friends you should never have. So if you guys make it all the way to the end of this video, be sure that you guys give me a big thumbs up and be sure to follow me on my Instagram right down below, you guys. And also, make sure you guys turn on the post notification bell just so you'll be notified each and every time that I upload. So, let's get into this video. So number one, I know you guys are going to be like, oh my goodness, that's so far-fetched. But number one, literally, is do not trust friends that invite other friends without letting you know. Basically, without telling you, just doing pop-ups with other people when you invite them to like dinner or something just that for y'all to hang out, you know, get girl time, get best friend time together. And they just show up with somebody else, but you, they didn't even tell you. So I feel like that should be number one because that's a clear sign that she will set you up. Just like my girl Bella said, she would literally set you up. And I know it sounds super, super far-fetched, but... You have to think about the people that hold secrets from you or the people that be sneaky around you and things like that. Like, if she can't tell you something so simple, like, oh, well, do you mind if I invite such and such because she wanted to come too, then what else does she hide from you? What else does she not tell you and just do behind behind your back and stuff like that? And I know you guys are like, oh, my God, that's just too, you know, way out there for all that. But literally, guys, you got to look. Like I tell you guys all the time, you have to look at the signs of people and how they move because I know me, I'm not going to come. If you invite me somewhere, I'm not going to bring my other friend without letting you know because maybe you wanted to have a sit down talk about something. Maybe you've been going through something, so you just wanted to vent to me, you know, just wanted to get away with your best friend or whatever. But when you invite somebody else, it's like, okay, now the vibe is super weird. Um, like whatever the case may be, I never met her, whether if I did meet her or not, like I called you, I didn't ask, did you want to have a group girl section? <laughs> so I feel like you making that move and not telling me is only because you knew that I was going to have a problem with it. So you just rather just pop up so you could just catch me in the middle, in the midst of it. And I wouldn't say anything because I don't want to embarrass you basically. So I like upfront friends, like let me know what's going on ahead of time. Like, Cause you don't know, like I said, you don't know what I wanted you for. You don't know if I've been depressed. I wanted to just vent to my best friend. I don't want to sit there and be venting to somebody I don't even know. And she go out there and tell my whole business to the whole world. Like that don't make a lot of sense to me. So I don't like people who move in a sneaky way. So watch out for them friends that move in a sneaky way. And you don't have to necessarily pertain it as they uh, show up with different type of people without letting you know. Okay. So I'm just saying, just be careful of the ones who would do something in that circumstances like you guys are going to wear together and they just invite people without letting you know like i feel like that's a big problem for me okay girls if you guys are in the video so far could you go ahead and please give me a big subscribe down below and also hit that big thumbs up bell and don't forget to turn on your notifications y'all so let's like for instance okay i'm gonna tell you guys a little quick story just for instance for number one like I had a best friend back in the day. This was some time ago. I had a friend back in the day and she invited me somewhere to where I didn't even know she was inviting like three other people. You know, she just told me like, get cute. Da, da, da. We finna go here today or whatever. And this was actually something we actually planned. Actually, we had planned this like two weeks in advance. So she told me like, get dressed or whatever. We finna go. I was getting dressed and stuff like that. Now, one time did she even mention to me that three other girls was coming that I never met in my whole life. So once I got in the car, you know, I got in the front seat with three girls in the back seat. Two of the girls said hi to me and one of the girls just didn't say anything at all. And like the whole night, she didn't even say nothing to me at all, literally. So I hate being thrown off like that. Like, you know, it's just super weird. Like don't throw my, cause I'm the type of person, like I have to literally vibe with people. I don't, don't invite me somewhere and it's like other friends with you. I'm not the type of friend I want to mingle with your friends because you're my friend. And I have my separate friends. You have your separate friends. Not saying that I will be like a B, a B when it comes to like what I'm coming around and stuff like that. Because even when I got in the car, like I was super polite to them. I was like, hey, everybody, da, 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 da. You know, but I didn't get that same energy back. And I'm the type of person I will match your energy. Like if you feel in some type of way, then I'm going to definitely feel it. And then I'm going to move a certain type of way. So 
I didn't like that because when you put me in a, a midst of a situation, I'm coming and all three y'all was together all day, no, no, not knowing what people were saying about me because the, definitely the vibe is super weird for them not to meet me. Why, when I get in the car, the vibe is weird. So definitely stuff was being said about me or they know stuff about me that I don't know about them. It's just super weird. So at that point, I don't know if like what's going on. Like I don't know if you're like really loyal to me as a friend because if anything, I was your best friend, you would've came pick me up first. Then, you know, you would've told them like, hey, me and my best friend is coming to get you. At that point, it just feel like me and you weren't the best friends. It was like you and them against me. So, you got to be careful when people put you in situations like that, y'all. So, let's go on to number two, you guys. Okay, so this kind of ties into what number one, y'all. Number two is literally do never trust a neutral friend. And what I mean by that is like do don't ever trust someone who is cool with the enemy. Like, literally. And I know it kind of sounds childish, y'all, but like... If your friend, because like I said, you guys, I'm all about loyalty. So, and a lot of people nowadays aren't built off of loyalty. And I think that's what the, the problem is. Because to me, in my eyes, it's all about the principle and stuff like that. People don't see it. like, And we tend to like bump heads because like they don't match what I'm matching. They don't see the vision that I'm seeing. They don't have the loyalty that I have. So I often end up breaking ties with a lot of friends because they're not, you know, they're not built from the same cloth I'm built from, basically. So if I'm, a, I, I feel like if, if me and you are best friends, you have my loyalty, I have your loyalty. And that should never, ever change no matter what. So if you feel like I'm not cool with certain type of girls because of whatever reason, and you're just hanging out with them every single day, like, that does not sit well with me. Like, and I'm not saying you got to be like, oh, now that's my beef because you got beef. But we're not about to be going out to lunch with them, taking Instagram pictures with them. Because at that point, like, sis, who is really your friend? Because I have been riding with you forever and you just now met them or whatever the case may be. But I know we best friends, so why aren't you riding with me? Like, you should be where I'm at. You over there where they at at this point in time. Like I said, take a trip with them, inviting them to places and stuff like that. Like, I had a friend like that, literally. And she, like, before you knew it, she, like, stopped trying to hang around me and stuff like that. Like, she would invite them. And then I look on her Instagram. It's like, dang, you didn't even invite me. And, like, I just had to see the signs from the beginning, like. I literally had to watch and see the signs from the beginning because there's no way that we should even been friends that long from the first time I, you knew I even had a problem with them. You should have no more contact with them, especially if you knew them through me. So at that point, it's just like, whose loyalty do you really have? Do not be friends with people who have neutral sides. And, and it's some of them people that feel like that, like, oh, well, that's not my beef. So why I can't be friends with her? Like, because I'm your friend. So my, my problem is at this point, with, when it comes to other females, it's your problem. Because I don't want to be out and her and her friends jump me or whatever. And you feel like we're both your friends so you don't want to get in the middle of it. Like, no, I don't want to, I don't want a friend like that. I want a friend that's always going to ride for me. I want a friend that's 10 toes down no matter what. Because me and you got this bond. Me and you is the... That's why I don't call people my best friends no more. Because people don't know the, the loyalty aspect of a friendship. So I don't even call people my best friend no more. I think that shit is just so... Excuse my language. But I think that's just so fake nowadays. Like that whole bestie, best friend thing. I don't have a best friend. And it took me literally like 15 years to learn. Like there's not really people that's your friend like that. Like people aren't your friend. I don't care what they didn't try to prove to you it's all about proving your loyalty so if they never prove their loyalty to you that don't mean anything just because they got that friend title or whatever you may want to call it so just be careful about the neutral type of people that play both sides okay you guys can make it to the, this video so far give me a big thumbs up please and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you didn't already okay so number three. Oh my goodness i really have a problem with this because I have so many experiences with this. So number three is never hang with girls that are too freaking easy. Let me say that again. Never hang with girls that are too freaking easy. Now, I'm not the one to judge, okay? Now, let me say that. Let me take a drink, y'all, because the tea. So I'm not the one to judge anyone, but... You do what you do, whatever we all grown or whatever the situation may be. But when it comes to having friends that you know that's just like really vanilla out here, just doing whatever, having sex with whoever, very easy because that's your friend. So she tell you how everything goes down. And, you know, you just know she's an easy friend. Like just out here just to get her. It's very easy. Never hang with nobody like that. Because let me tell you, those type person that 
it's gonna come onto your man. And y'all know I'm I'm big on this man and your friend thing because it's really real out here. Like I done went through it plenty of times to know. I done had a lot of experience. So listen to your big sis to let ladies like let me let you know right now. When she is too friendly, she will sleep with your man. No guarantee. Let your man come onto her and it's a drunk night for her or whatever. She's gonna go because you know why? She was never loyal from the beginning. And you had plenty of signs, like one and two, to know that she was never uh, never loyal to you in the beginning. Because a lot of girls would like to say, like, oh, well, he came on to me. He knew I was drunk. No, you're my friend. You know, you're, you're, it's girl code at that point, too. And you should be a woman at that, too. You should stop being so easy just because somebody do whatever to you. I don't feel like you should just be easy because a man come on to you. Okay, so... I just feel like them friends that are super easy, them type of friends that mention your man's name every single conversation, them, them friends that um, is too huggy-duggy with your, your boyfriend, too friendly with them, got them on social media, them type of friends, since they will literally F your man. And there's no question about it. Like I said, let it be a night like that. And he even tries to make a pass. Because one thing about men, they're gonna, they will do stuff like that. But it takes it, it takes from you to be a real friend and be like, man, no, like I don't care how drunk I am. And if I feel like I'm that drunk, I'm gonna leave the party before then, or I'm gonna leave the situation way before then. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell your I'm gonna tell my best friend, that friend, your little your man was acting a little bit too close. Like he was doing a little bit too much. I'm never gonna hide anything like that from you. So a lot of people just don't, they're not, they don't value loyalty and friendship. So like I, I'm not even the type of person that will sit up there and be friends with my friends, man. Anyways, I try to keep a distance. Like, I'm not the type that really want to come hug you when I first see you. I, I really, I'd rather just shake your hand. <laughs> I'm not the type of person that just be talking to you the whole time if we're somewhere. Like, I will try to keep the conversation at a minimum. Like, I would just talk through my friend. Like, I don't like them type of people that's just real cool. Hey, brother. Hey, this. Oh, da, 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 you're, no, I don't like that. Like, stop acting like you know him. Stop being so conversational with him. I don't like that. Don't be so conversational with my man. Like, them type of friends, y'all, like, let it be one of them nights. And I guarantee y'all take it from your big six because I done had it. I done seen it. I done had friends that can't close to. I done had friends that get on Facebook because we done fill out over some petty stuff that gets on Facebook and make a status. Like, I will F your man. Don't ever take that lightly because that's what she been thinking the whole time. And let her come to a point, she will She will definitely do that. If he let her do that, trust me, it will go down all the way, y'all. Like, them type of friends, they put the signs out before it even comes, baby. They already let you know who they are. You just have to watch and see and pay attention to people and their actions. And when y'all fall out for a couple of days, how they move and stuff like that. So don't ever be friends with them girls that's too easy. Okay? Like, I like a friend that's just like, I don't care how drunk I am. I like them friends that just be like, please, I know I'm in my right mind at all times. And ain't no man about to take advantage of me. Okay, because I feel like that's an excuse, especially when we're getting so older. Ain't no man take no advantage of you, girl. You wanted to be, you wanted to be, and that's what you just you got basically, or you tried to get. So never trust them type of friends, y'all. So that makes the conclusion of this video, you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I ask that you go ahead and please hit that subscribe button down below. And also hit the notification bell and then hit the all button just so that every time I upload a new video, you guys will be notified and you won't miss any type of video that I upload. Also follow me on my social media down below. And yes, you guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.